The Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. It was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you all ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read one of your favorites, and of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa, I'll be good. All right, here we go. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, 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 they began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, What lovely children, why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when out jumped a little red chicken and said, Don't go in, she's a witch. So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Chicken! Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. This one is called Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma's, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. So Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods, and by and by she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was just about to answer him when, Out jumped a little red chicken and said, Don't talk to strangers! So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Chicken! Yes, Baba? You did it again. You interrupted two stories and you're not even sleepy. I know, Baba. I'm so sorry, but, but he was a mean old wolf. Yes, yes. All right, now get back into bed. Okay, Papa, can we try one more story, please? I'll be good. All right. This one's called Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey, Lucy, Ducky, Lucky, Henny, Penny, and everyone else on the farm that the sky was falling when out jumped a little red chicken and said, Don't panic! It was just an acorn! So Chicken Little didn't. The end. Chicken! Yes, Papa! You did it again! Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that chicken get all upset over a little acorn. Please, just read one more story. I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we are all out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Well, then, said Papa, yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me? Tell you a story? said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um, this is called Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her papa to bed and she read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all until... <sighs> papa? Ah, <sighs> oh, good night, Papa. The end.